When working on rust repairs or complex dents, it's pretty common to run into high and low spots in your bodywork. So today, we're going to take a quick look at how to deal with them. First, to avoid sand scratches, we're going to sand or grind out a little bit further. We don't want our filler running into these sand scratches. When you run your hand over bodywork and you feel a little funkiness here or there, it might be a high spot or a low spot. So just in case, I knock this down. This might be low, but just in case, I knock this down and hit it with a little filler. Same here. I feel a little bit of funkiness. And this could be low and this could be high. But just in case, I'll tap this down and hit it with filler. When I run my hand over here, I feel a little waviness. I do think this is low right here, so we'll hit it right here. And I did have a high spot here. We'll fill that in. To tap the high areas down, you're going to use a hammer like this. And you're just going to lightly tap it and feel it. Make sure it feels a little bit low. That should be good there. And this was a weld, so we hit it with the die grinder. And you can, to get more accurate, you can just whack it with a punch. And just in case this is a high spot, and that should do. One really nice thing about using a cheese grater at this point on this fresh filler is that you're not going to mess up what you already did. We're just knocking it down, getting it real close so that we're not running sandpaper over what we already did.
After allowing the filler to harden up, we'll be using 40 grit on a medium length board. And it's really important to let the sandpaper and the board do the work right now. So we're going to be using light pressure. Now we'll finish this up by DA sanding, feather edging these uh, sand scratches, hitting this with some 80 grit, and hitting it with a couple coats of primer. spraying the primer with a unique gun from Viver. The air pressure control is here, fluid adjustment is here, and the pattern is here. Comes with everything you see, a 1.3 millimeter tip and a 1.7 millimeter tip. After three heavy coats of primer surfacer, this is the finished panel, ready to be block sanded, primed again, finished sanded, and painted. I hope you enjoyed this video on what to do with high and low spots in your bodywork. If you did, and you'd like to get my latest videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.